All right, everybody, welcome to the Kingdom of Noob 194 on the game King of Avalon. So, quick overview. King of Avalon is a game that you can get on your phone. And it's free on the Google Play Store as well as the iPhone Apple Store. Uh, like I said, it's free to play if you guys want to try it out yourselves. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining the basics of a few things that are in the game that uh, some of the people in my alliance have been having a trouble with understanding. So I thought I'd make this video explaining how to work these, just the very basics. Like, I'm not going to go in and tell you like what stats to do and what not. I'm just going to help you learn how to do it so you can make up the stats that you want to have for the benefit you the way you want to. So the, the things I'm going to go over is dragon skills. I'm going to show you how to set the dragon skills, how to upgrade them, how to get dragon guardian power and whatnot. We'll go over all that, and I'll show you how to enhance the skills as well. I know why I'm lagging a little bit there. Then I'm going to show you the heroes and how to upgrade those and all that stuff. I'm going to show you how to work with gemstones. Because uh, well, some people don't know that you can upgrade them, for example. And uh, I'm also going to go down here. I'm going to show you this alchemist corner. It's kind of a, a secret that I... A lot of people don't know where it is in the game that you can get better equipment. And I'm also going to show you these prestige levels. I'm going to give you some hints about those, what to do with that. So to start off, let's go visit the Dragon Altar. Or Dragon Lair. I don't like call it an altar. Okay, why won't I let me zoom in? Okay. It's this building right here. There's a lot of gold on that. I, didn't ever real I don't think I've ever zoomed in on that to see that it's covered in gold. My dragon needs to share that. So, you see all these things down here. The dragon details just shows you the details. <laughs> you probably just saw my dragon's name there. I forgot I named it that. I named it that. I played this. I started this game in March and it still has that name. I just totally forgot until just now. And this is the enhancement skills. We'll go back to this. Uh, but you want to go to this dragon skills right here. So, these are the dragon skills that you have. And you start off with only the first skill on each side, which is the f one on the left is a uh, March of Furies. You can see there it gives you troop capacity. And so the two differences, the assault is more for attacking. If you're going to be like going out and attacking people, you can get bonuses. Like you can see here, you can get a bonus of attack men, uh, infantry versus bowmen. And the guardian power is more defensive farming and all that stuff. You can see here, it's got food gathering speed, amount of resources they can carry and defensive stuff as well like you can see here you got defensive against infantry versus cavalry so that's that and the way you get the points is you can either do some things where it gives you items that you can use to get the salt points or the guardian points and you could do that by doing barbarians or by attacking monsters but the way the best way to do it is either by killing troops, attacking, or defending. When you attack, you get assault points. And I will actually pop up and show you a report here. I need to find one where I actually kill people. So this is a defense I had that we lost. You can see here it gave me just under 3,000 guardian power. I haven't attacked anyone recently. Crap. That was covering my escape button. But you can see, and then if you attack, it gives you some... Uh, of the assault points and why isn't this popping up I hate it when this happens you gotta guess where it's at so after you get the skills that you want and upgrade them you're not done yet so that's the biggest mistake is people think you just upgrade them and then you get them all but you have to assign them so that you do that by going down to the bottom right corner you click on that and you have these four different things that you can do it so attacking is when you attack someone. You're physically sending your troops to attack them. These are the skills that you are able to you selected. And then the ones in the bottom right and bottom left, those are the skills that you can select from. Because you can only use the certain skills in certain these certain areas. So you can see that here I have the cavalry versus infantry and whatnot. And march capacities in there, march speed. So in order to do that, I'm going to unassigned let's get rid of march speed say i wanted i didn't want march speed i wanted to have wounded conversion i can add that and my troops will be let's see if it tells me 
they'll be 5.5% slower, but I will be getting a 4.5% of my troops that would die normally. In a battle, they wouldn't be dying, essentially. But I'd rather have the march speed right now, so I'm going to assign that. And then the defense is the same thing when you're getting attacked. See, I have this. It's going to be 48% extra uh, defense for my infantry against bowmen. Extra damage from traps. And the gathering, you usually want gathering speed and carry more resources. Um, so right now the kill event just got up. I just barely put these back on. But some a uh, hint that I do, uh, I'm going to give you guys for during the kill event. If you want to just be passive, you don't want to get attacked. What you can do is if you don't want to use shields, because I know they can get expensive. What you can do is you can boost this beast of burden. You can upgrade that like crazy, which makes it so your troops can carry more at a time. And then you take these off. All the gathering speeds, you get rid of all those. And then you can send them all to... Oops. Then you can send them all to the Alliance farm. And they'll just continually be farming and they'll take them longer. As well as they can hold more. So, it's essentially your troops are safe inside of the, the Alliance farm. So... It's just as good as a shield. Your resources can still be stolen, but usually in the kill event, you usually don't want to have a lot of resources out anyways. So, that's that. And, uh, please pop up. It's not going to pop up. So, the enhancement spent button. So, what you can do is you go here. You have these intensity crystals, which I'm going to go show you in the items. There are these crystals right here. And you have different levels. One to five, I think. I don't know. I'm only to level four, so. It at least goes to four. So what you can do is you get these ones pretty easy. You can come here. If you don't know about this, you could click this statue right there. And you could praise these people, and it gives you three level ones for free. So that's a cool little thing they have, just so you know. They, some people might know, not know that either. So what you can do is there's sometimes from events and stuff you can get the higher level ones. But what you, what you could do is if you... Don't, if you have a bunch of level 1s, but you need 2s, you can take the level 1s, and you can synthesize the 8 of them to turn them into one better one. So I'll do 8, and then look at that. I got an extra level 2. So when you have those, you can come down to the dragon layer. Oh, it popped up. Good. You go to the enhanced skills, and then you click on the skill you want to enhance, and then in the bottom right, you can enhance it, and it tells you you have to pay 10 intensity crystals of the level. So you can see this is level 1. So it costed me 10 level 1 intensity crystals to put this on. And if I wanted the boosted again, I'd have to have 10 level 2 crystals. And let's see, I have a bunch of level 1s. What's a skill I can use? Get out of here. Um, I don't want any guardian. So, eh, we'll just leave it for now. I just will put it in wounded conversion. So I have 37 out of 10, so I can do that. And it puts a star in that. Now I get an extra 4% wounded conversion, which is really good. And the next one, if I get 10 intensity crystals, it'll be 11%. So that's the basics of dragon skills. So we're going to move on to the heroes real quick. So if you... I, sh I did it at the beginning of the video. I shouldn't have, but I just can't help myself. Whenever I see it, I just do it. So you click on the hero cancel. So... In order to get the heroes, you can go to the summoning circle, and every 8 hours, or 12 hours, I believe, this green one you can do, and it gives you a low level 1 or a hero experience. And this one's every day you can do it. You can get a free summon. And this one here is, you do, you get these horns, which I'll show you in, oh, crap. But you have to pay for these. You have to pay some amount of money in the game to unlock the horns. You can go down right here. So I have, a, oh, I have 143 of these. And you get them by killing monsters and whatnot. You can go to the Hero Council. And when you get 270 of them, you can cash in the 270. And it will give you 10 uh, either hero experiences or heroes. And you're guaranteed to have at least one good hero. So that's really good to have. If you paid for the game, save up those. You could do the 30 at a time, but if you do 270 right at once, yeah, it's 30 cheaper. So it's just better to do that overall. Unless you just don't want to wait for it and you're not patient. So 
what you do with the heroes is you go to the hero council, which is the one on the right, and you have to assign them. You they don't you don't get them all. You do have to you get one of each. You can see oh that's my bad. But you get you can see a master enforcer, master in arms. You have you get one of each. And you can see you have multiple of each one. And typically the green is the worst, blue is the middle, and these are the best. But I have this guy up so high. That's why I have this the green guys here because he's up so high. It gives me one mil. I save one point one million on research when I with for food, as well as my construction wood costs are one point two million less. So I have him up to level twenty six. That's why I'm not really bothered. I do have this guy. When I do construct buildings, I want to save food. So I have him up there. But you can see her. She does the same thing, but better. But I just don't want to pay for the experience. Yeah, and you see, you can do that for all these heroes. And you want to have them. Because you see here, this guy is giving me 7.6% infantry damage received. Negative that. So if I was to receive damage from attacks or whatnot, I am saving that much percent damage. So that is really good when you add up all of these guys. Bowman attack, 18% almost. So you see, these are amazing to have. So what you do with them to upgrade them, you go to the roster... And you click on the hero you want. Let's see. Uh, where's the bowman? No. Yeah, it was the bowman attack guy. He's almost up. I think I did this recently. Yeah, so I don't have a lot of experience. But you can move the slider up. And you see, I leveled him up once. So in the next level, he's going to get 0.7% extra uh, bowman attack, which is really good. So, oh. I have fat fingers, as some of the people in my alliance would tell me. So, yeah, that's the basics of heroes. So, moving on. <coughs> Let's go to the gemstones real quick. So, in order to go to the gemstones, you go to the armory. And you go to the gemstones tab. So, these are the ones I have embedded right now. I pretty much got rid of all the ones I don't actually need. But, you can see that they have the number next to them at the top left. Plus three, plus four, plus two... And the way you upgrade those is with these refining stones. And I don't know if I have any unclaimed. But when you receive the refining stones... Yeah, I see I don't have any. These might give me some. No. Yeah, they're not going to give me... Sometimes they do. Not very often. But when you, have, you get the refining stones, you have to come down here and collect them. I don't have any available. But then you go to the forge gemstones... And if I wanted to upgrade this one level two, I don't have enough refining stones, but you, you click the positive sign next to the experience there. And then you can add the refining stones. And it, once you get to 130 experience, you rank it up. And I can't show you by example because I don't have enough refining stones. But you get the gist. You need these refining stones or you could also uh, use other gemstones that aren't equipped. And you can use them for refining stones, but you usually don't want to. The only ones I use for that are these, uh, the three-pointed gems. Because you can see they each have different number of sides, like three, four, five. I think this one's a six. And the more sides they have, the better they are. And in order to equip the gems, this there's a multiple ways to do it. This is the way I do it. You go in the top left-hand corner, you have your portrait. You click that. And then you click the equipment you want to uh, put it on. And you scroll down here, and you, you have these slots right here, and you just click on them. And you just, it says you have a chance to embed them. And the slots, let me see if I can find an empty slot. You can see the empty slot right there. If you just click on it, I don't have any five points available right now, so I can't embed anything. But if I were to have one, that's where it would go, You just that blank spot. You can only have so many in certain amount of sides on each one. So th that's the gemstones, and you can see... Uh, let's go to the armory. They add quite a bit. This is adding 12% infantry attack. 6%, 6%, 6% cavalry defense. 4% troop defense. They add up. And they're really good. Like those combined are giving me... What is that? 24% extra infantry damage. So you see that's really amazing to have. You want to have those. So definitely go for these gemstones. Um... And the next thing I was going to show you is the secret with this exchange. <clears throat> so you go down there and you click the alchemist corner. 
And so from doing monsters whatnot, you get the scrolls, and then you cast them in at the forge, and whatnot. And sometimes you get crappy equipment scrolls that you don't really want to use. And what you could do with those scrolls is you see these shops, the shop right here. Say you wanted to have these perp, these orange boots, which orange is the best you can get, but you can't afford that. And you're just like, how do I get these? So the way you get that is you go to the crucible button to the left. You click that. And all these things right here, you could uh, trade them in. Say you got heroes you didn't want. Like, I don't... Is this one I don't like? Um, well, she's not bad. Let me find a hero. It sucks. It's all good. I think I've done this already. Oh my gosh, they're all good. Okay, yeah, we'll do this one. So this Vortimer said I didn't want him, so I use all of his fragments. Use, and it see over here, if I transform it, it'll give me 36 of the banner, the, the horn ones. And then when you get those, you press the back button. And you can spend that to buy the hero fragments that you want. Like, say I wanted hers to get the resource production. You see, I need 39 more. I could buy that, and then I'd be only needing 38. And you do the same thing with the equipment. If I, I don't want to get rid of any of these equipment. But if I wanted to trade that in, I could get 281. Out of that one, 750. And you see, if you trade in a couple of them, you're able to afford that. And just so you know, this is the scroll. You don't get the equipment. You still have to pay for the, the materials to forge it. And I actually might have to tr do some monsters so I can afford this 5k steel because I am really low on steel. But with that aside, uh, the next point I wanted to do was the banners. So, oh, Merlin's going to give me 20,000 wood for fun. Why not? So, the banners. So, what I found is a lot of people don't do the banners on all their buildings. Even if the buildings suck, like the one, the worst one I found is the forge. Infantry damage, it's not really important. And it's only cost you two banners to upgrade. But some of these buildings have better... Things like the Hollow War is one of the most important ones because it gives you troop health, which is really good. You want to have this. If you don't have a level 15 Hollow War, you want to get that so you can prestige it up. And the way you get those is by doing uh, the Fallen Knight as well as portals. And you also get them from randomly from farming on the kingdom map and whatnot. So then you can go to these buildings. And another one that's really important that you want to do is the watchtower. And it's not going to show. Oh, there we go. So you want to get that up because your bowmen do the most damage of all your troops. So you want to have their damage up extra. See, like, the reason that the forge one sucks for to get infantry damage is because they don't do a lot of damage in the first place. They're kind of just a meat shield. And you want to have a lot of infantry because they die before your archers. And the more infantry you have to die, the more your archers can do damage-wise. So, you want to get the Watchtower up, as well as the Hall War. Those are the two important ones. And these are all nice to get up as well, if you have the extra banners. Like, this one's good to have. It's damage that you would receive. You're receiving less. Like, that's good. The Embassy. That's what the Embassy gives you. Cavalry damage. That's really good, too. Cavalry does a lot of damage as well. So, yeah, that's the basics of the game that I just wanted. What was that one? I could afford it. Bowman damage received. And that's not really important because if you have a good meat shield, then you don't really have to worry about that anyways. But, yeah, that's the basics, uh, basics I wanted to go over in the game. So, thank you guys for watching. And please subscribe to my channel. And I'm talking to you guys here. All these guys here, you need to subscribe to my channel. So, I'm doing this for you guys. So, thank you for watching. And where's the little thing? There it is. See you guys.